Shalom. Brothers United in Christ, back with this word. By the grace of the Lord, everybody had a beautiful week. Another Sabbath. Give thanks and praise to the Most High. To all things. Um, we're still working this on Psalms, the 14th chapter. And again, we're talking about how the, how the um, workers of iniquity have shamed the counsel of the poor because the, the poor have made the Most High his refuge. And um, I really, like, I really want to um, kind of exhaust this because... We're in a time where there is no other place to put your confidence. You put it in man, he's felling big time. He, there's nowhere else to put it. So we're in, we're in a very, we're in an evil time. We, we, we're in the time of the, of the wicked judgments coming through. But what is the righteous to do in this time? So I think this, 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 this um, lesson is imperative for this time to help build up strength, to give brothers and sisters some insight. On, on, as the Lord said, all things was written for our example to the intent that we should not was written for our ad ad admission, admonishment to the intent that we should not lust after evil things or faint or fade away when the trouble comes. So read that Psalms 14, 6, 21 time. Um give me um Ecclesiastic Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiasticus 10 19. And give me the um, second Ezra 16. Um, let's give me the uh, second Ezra 16. I'll show you why I'm just about that. Because um, after you read this, I want to read that um, Proverbs 14 and 26. All right? So read that for me. Psalms 14 and 6. You have shamed the counsel of the poor because the Lord is his refuge. You have shamed the counsel of the Lord because of the shame the counsel of the poor because the Most High is his refuge. Again, like I said, there, there's no no other place to put your confidence or, or to take refuge in the earth. Everything is corrupt. Um, they have no they have no foundations in the earth. So the poor, the poor righteous, stay steadfast, focus on the Most High. And I just want to uh, empower you with these scriptures to show you that you're in the right place. Don't faint, don't fold. Right? That's Proverbs fourteen twenty six. Proverbs fourteen. 26 In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, uh -huh. and his children shall have a place of refuge. And his children shall have a place of um, refuge. And the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. But you got to be confident. You can't be in here weak. You can't be in here uh, 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 doubting. You can't be in here with a. Uh, 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 um, what they said? Uh, double minded. Double -minded. Wavering. You got to be confident. But again, we live in a time where, you know, confidence ain't that big <laughs> or it is not promoted that much in the, in, 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 as far as towards the Lord. Everybody's looking into the earth, you know, because they're afraid. The whole world is afraid. So, you know, the, 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 the sincere, be confident, stay locked in. But at the same time, understand that everybody around you is not strong. Real quick, go, go to. Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, right? I just want to show you because this is the mindset of a lot of brothers and sisters that are standing right here, so I'm not pulling nothing out the sky. 37, read it from, read it from 10, but yeah, 10 and from 11. Ezekiel 37 and 10. Uh -huh. So I prophesied as he commanded me. Right. And the breath came into them. Uh-huh. And they lived and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army. Right. So again, this is talking about the valley of dry bones. And he, he's expounding on what took place with these dry bones and how he prophesied and spoke unto them. And these bones became alive. They stood up. But they didn't have the right spirit in them. 
They didn't have the right spirit. So it's like right now, today, a lot of brothers and sisters that say, yeah, I know I'm an Israelite. But as the brother was going through this <laughs> lesson, what spirit is on these brothers and sisters? Are they genuine? Are they sincere? But they stood up. They know a lot of people know it's like really no big secret down to who we are, right? So they stood up and they see them here. Army, go ahead. Then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Right. He responded who these dry bones are. Who these dry bones? It's the whole house of Israel. Go ahead. Behold, they say, our bones are dry and our hope is lost. Our bones are dry and our hope is lost. So what with Israel? They say the most high, the uh, Israel has been cast away. Yeah, we were the Israelites, but we we new Israelites. Now we're spiritual Israelites. They got all type of things to say. Our hope is lost. Now we got to join to this religion. Now we got to join to that. Our hope is lost. Israel is over. We don't have the same confidence. We don't have the promises that aren't with Israel. Our hope is lost. They don't have the same confidence. Confidence no more. Right? Read it. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dry uh -huh. and our hope is lost. Uh -huh. We are cut off for our part. We're cut off for our part, so they just, they don't have confidence no more. They just, they, they know they're Israelites. She might see it, I don't, it don't matter. This, this confused young woman at work. She woke up to me and she asked, she, she asked me some questions, you know, and as I shoot them questions down, she says, well, are you Muslim? I said, no, I'm an Israelite, confused young woman, part of the LGBT community, she's a, uh, she's she, <laughs> crazy, she said, so am I, <laughs> I said, whoa, <laughs> so are you, I said, okay, I said, so you knowing that you're an Israelite, you know that we got a certain amount, of, we got certain standards we got to live by, again, I got to be Circumspect. I got to be wise to serpent, harness the devil. I got to be prudent how I conduct myself because we're in a workplace. These people don't care not about the Lord. So anything that I can say, anything I say could be misconstrued. I got a livelihood. I got. I got. I got people that suddenly I'm responsible for. So I got to be careful with my words. I, not that I hold my sword back, but I pick my words wisely. But she says she knows she's an Israelite. Her father told her, but yet the right spirit is not there. I'm just focusing on the point that the confidence in the Lord is not there. Even though we know we're Israelites, a lot of us know we're Israelites, but our, our, our mindset is weak. Our, our hope is lost. But those that are sincere, those that, that truly love the Lord, that, 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 that make the most high their refuge, don't faint. Stay strong. But yet we in this time where it's a weak time for a lot of our brothers and sisters, even though they know they're Israelites. Right? Read this again. Ezekiel 37 and 11 mm -hmm. Then he said unto me, Son of man These bones are the whole house of Israel Behold, they say, our bones are dry And our hope is lost uh -huh. We are cut off for our parts We're cut off for our parts, so it don't matter I'm just going to go this way and you know As the brother was saying, yeah uh, uh, Just believe in, the Lord, uh, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ And you'll be saved This is a mindset, this is a weak mindset But in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence Those that truly fear the Lord Be confident be strong. Stand in it. Don't worry about it, right? Read on. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, my hold my people. I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves uh -huh. and bring you into the land of Israel. And this is the promise. Again, so, again, this is the promise. But again, the workers of iniquity, even amongst our own people, they cause in the drink of the thirsty to fail. They saying, yeah, that's old. That's the Old Testament. They did the New Covenant. Yeah, it's a New Covenant. And who's the New Covenant with? <laughs> with Israel. It's still with Israel. But yet, the works of iniquity have you think that that covenant is done away with. Now the covenant is with everybody and everybody. Israel is done away with. Now it's just spiritual Israel. That's not the case. Read, go back to Proverbs 14, 26. One more time. Proverbs. 14 and 26. And the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, uh -huh. and his children shall have a place of refuge. And his children shall have a place to hang out, to hide out, to abide the time to the to the to the to the, to the uh, judgment of the wicked be overpassed. Right? Go ahead. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life uh -huh. to depart from the snares of death. To depart from the snares of death. To depart from the snares of death. The fear of the Lord is the fountain of life to depart from the snares of death because that's what's in the earth today. And a lot of our brothers and sisters are weak. They are weak. They don't have no strength. But those of you that are sincere, those of you that feel it from the inside out, stay strong. 
Continue to make the most out of your refuge. Don't let the counsel of the wicked deter you, right? Read it. Ecclesiasticus chapter 10 and verse 19. Uh -huh. They that fear the Lord are a sure seed. See? They that fear the Lord are a sure seed. Sure. There's, a, there's, no, there's no schism. There's no doubt. They that fear the Lord are a sure seed. It's going to play out for you. You just got to wait. Wait. Wait it out. Play it out. Patience. This is the long game. What did Christ say? He that endures unto the end, the same shall be saved. There's, a, there's many tribulations we got to go through. And we have to endure them all. Stay strong. Read it again. They that fear the Lord are a sure seed. Uh -huh. And they that love him an honorable plant. And they that love him an honorable plant. So read that prophet on Psalm 14 one more time. 14 and 6. Psalms 14 and 6. You have, shame, you have shamed the counsel of the poor because the Lord is his refuge. Because the Lord is, is his refuge. Read that again. They that fear the Lord are a sure seed, and they that love him, an honorable king. Go ahead. They that regard not the law are a dishonorable seed. Uh -huh. They that transgress the commandments are a deceivable seed. Those are the workers of iniquity. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a blessing for those that fear the Most High, and there's a, there's a curse, or at least like that. There's a reward for those that fear the Most High, and there is a reward for those that do not fear the Most High. The Most High is telling us here that they that fear the Lord are a sure seed. They locked in. They locked in. You just got to play it through. Play it all the way through. Play it all the way through. Don't let nobody sway you. Don't let nobody knock you off your post. Read it. Verse 20. Among brethren, he that is chief is honorable. So are they that fear the Lord in his eyes. So are they that fear the Lord in his eyes. They, they that are chief amongst brethren, he that is chief is honorable. The brother that the brother that's uh, 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 at the top of the at the top of the um crew, the work crew, whatever type of crew it is, he's honorable. So is he that feareth the Lord in the Lord's eyes, he's honorable, right? Go to that 16 chapter. Second Ezra. Again, because it's, it's the commandments that's going to strengthen us. It's the commandments that's going to give us assurance, uh, 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 along with faith. Again, I don't want anybody, you know, this brother just talk with commandments and law. No. Faith and law. The law and faith. The commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh Shai Christ. Who's that? Who's that? 14, 12, right. Revelation. Revelation 14, 12. Give me that. Second Ezra 16. Read it from 75. Read it from 74. Read this word. <laughs> Revelation 14 and 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High uh -huh. and the faith of Christ. So you got to have both. You got to have both. See, that's the problem. You got one set of brothers saying, "Yo, the, the, the New Testament, stay away from that. It's all about the. It's all about the law." Then you got another uh, set of brothers over there saying, "The law is done away. It's all about the command, uh, 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 the Gospels." Right. But what did Christ say? What did you read that again? On? Here is the patience of the saints. Uh -huh. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High. The law. And the faith of Christ. Faith. It's a balance. you got to balance them out. you got to balance them out. But everybody's not looking today. Everybody, everybody's uh, picking a side. I, as a brother opened up, he, his brother said, you're going to follow somebody, right? Who are you going to follow? We're going to follow Christ. That's who we're going to follow. They ain't looking to follow no man in the earth. Man is corrupt. Man is jacked up. So we got to make the most high our refuge through the blood of Christ, man. Read that. Second Esdras, <clears throat> chapter 16 and verse 74. Hear, O, o ye my beloved, uh -huh. saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand. Now this is the focus point because the, the, the workers of iniquity have shamed the counsel of the poor. Even in this time of trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7. This is the time of trouble. We're, the days of trouble is a, are at hand. As, as we're speaking about it way back here, this is a long time ago, but he's saying they're at hand. They're coming. And now we're in this time. This is our time. And we're in this time. It's a time of trouble. So how, who, who are we going to make our refuge? Who are we going to put our confidence? And man, go back, right, in the same chapter, right, over here, 69. Second Edges, 16, 16. Second Edges, chapter 16, verse 68. 
For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, uh -huh. and they shall take away certain of you, and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. And feed you with things being offered unto idols. We spoke about that. Is this right now the most idolatrous thing in the world is riches. Riches. Everybody's seeking to get rich by any means. As I spoke about this before, I wasn't too short and I went home and I came across this video. A guy posted talking about how he's switching his um, media outlets because YouTube is starting to short them on the on the payouts. I had mentioned I wasn't too sure, but that is a thing. They pay you for how many views and likes you get. So people do the most vulgar things to get their numbers up. Yeah. Everybody's taking away with things off in the idols. Everybody's talking about taking away with rich and being successful, making it. And the brother been going through this lesson in Isaiah the 30th chapter, 32nd chapter. And he, 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 he put it real quick. Put it, put it on Isaiah 32. And there's a point in there which... Everybody needs to understand. Right? Male and female, but he's harping on the women right here. But it's, it's for male and female, right? Read it from 11. Isaiah 32 and 11, 10. verse 10. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. Uh huh. Be careless woman. Be careless woman, go ahead. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. The vintage is going to fail, the gathering is not, is not going to come. The prosperity, what you're looking for. The, 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 the payout is not going to come. It's done. It's done. This is for male and female, though. So stop looking to the earth. Stop stop, stop seeking riches in the earth. Get what we need and get, get out the way. Be as pilgrims passing through. I said this many times in my lesson. Be as pilgrims passing through. Hey, buddy, I got a desire to be rich. They're doing all types of things to get rich. To get rich. Nah, man, I just want to I just want to be comfortable as we pass through this thing, man. Give me meat that is convenient for me. I'm not trying to be so blown up, so rich that, you know, I, I feel like I ain't got no more problems. Nah, these people got problems, man. These, a lot of these rich people got a lot of problems, and they have no refuge. They have no refuge, right? Tremble, ye woman that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip ye, and make ye bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Because it's a troublesome time coming. It's a troublesome time coming, man. Read this again. Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and we shall take away certain of you, and feed you, being idle, with things offered unto idols. Here's the point. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision. They that consent unto them, that they, they that agree with them, they that go with them, shall be had in derision. Here's the example. Today, everyone that copped out to the jab, How's your heart? How's your spirit? How's your heart? How's your spirit? Are you in derision? Are you like, oh, what's going on? Who's making fun of you? They got all type of uh, 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 jokes out there or uh, 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 videos out there about those people that got jabbed. <laughs> it's confusion. It's confusion. So how's your heart? Where's your confidence? It's shook now because you consented unto them. You can send them to them. They got you. They drew you away with things off the idol. If you don't do this, we're going to take their livelihood. You're gonna, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna cut you off from your job. We're gonna, we won't be able to do this. Feed you with things off into idols. Now you are jacked up. You can send them to them. Now you are jacked up. Now you can't even think straight. Now you jacked up, man. But those that make the most out of their refuge, they got to have confidence. Because everything the Lord plays writ, writ, written down, we see it playing out. That's confidence. That makes me stronger because I see it playing out. That makes me stronger, not weaker. It makes me stronger, man. Read this. Second Ezra 16 and 69. And they that consent unto them shall be held in derision and in reproach and charted underfoot. Right, go back over here to the 74. Verse 74. Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I, I, but but I will deliver you from the same. But I will deliver you from the same. Those that make the most high their refuge. Don't worry about what the workers of iniquity are doing. Don't worry about them. Don't let them shame the account of the most high. You see it playing out. The most high wrote these things years ago. Thousands of years ago. So that when it do play out, we can say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And the Lord is true because we've seen it play out. That gives confidence. In the 
fear the Lord is strong confident. You're going to get strong and strong as you see the day approaching. If you're sincere. If you're insincere, they're going to get weak. They're going to fold. They're going to be like those back in um, Ezekiel 37 chapter. Our hope is lost. Even though I know I'm an Israelite, my hope is lost. Man, you don't see all this stuff going on. It can't be true. You're going to start jumping the ship. Reason why I left the Israelites. Look at the point to finger at somebody else. No, because you was weak in yourself. You didn't have no intestine for it in yourself. Don't blame nobody else. It's all on you. That's in your lap, right? Read it. Second Edges 16 and verse 75. Be not afraid. Uh -huh. Neither doubt. Uh -huh. For for the Most High is your God. Give me that Psalms 119. And, and the God of them who keep my commandments. The Most High is the, it says, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. Because you made him your refuge. So the Most High is your guide. Be confident, be strong in this troublesome time because trouble's here. It ain't gonna turn back. It ain't gonna go away. It ain't gonna get any easier. It's real. It's on us. But be ye not afraid, neither doubt the Most High is your guide, right? Go ahead. And the guide of them who keep my commandments. And the guide of them that keep my commandments. In precepts. And precepts. Save the Lord power. So this is how you gotta rule your life. With the commandments and the precepts of the Most High. So you can have a guide through it. So you gotta have wade through it. Look, even Ezra said. Read the Psalms 119, right? 16, 119, 16, right? Through 24. Psalms 119, verse 16. 16. I will delight myself in thy statute. Uh -huh. I will not forget thy word. Right. If the guide of them that keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, be ye not afraid, for the most high is your guide, right? I will keep thy statutes and thy precepts and commandments. Go ahead. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. I ain't going to forget thy word. I'm not going to forget thy word. No matter how rough it get in the earth, no matter how rough it get in the earth, I may be troubled. I'm not perplexed and not the spirit. I might, I might, I'm, I might be perplexed, but not the spirit. I might say, wow, this is rough. Then I buckle down, tighten up my girdle, and move forward. And move forward. I like yesterday again. This thing happens every once in a while about the Sabbath on the job. I'm in, a, I'm in a hoist with a bunch of other workers. This was yesterday, and we're all in there, and they, they we knew today was going to be cold, but the job is open, and they all, oh, you coming in tomorrow? You coming in? And they got to me, they said, you coming in? I said, I don't work no Saturdays. It got real quiet in there. One brother, I think he's a mixed brother. I think he's a, uh, uh, he might be Italian and Negro or something like that. But, you know, he, he kind of jumps sides. And Italian is to the, <laughs> he goes back and forth. He says, oh, really? So would you work Sunday? I said, every one day given. So you work Sunday, but you won't work on Saturday? I said, yeah, because the Lord's Sabbath is Saturday. He looked, he said, oh, because you're religion? I said, no. Because the Lord's Sabbath is Saturday, the seventh day. He just looked. Everybody's looking. He said, wow, I never heard that. I said, yeah, well, it's the Lord's Sabbath. The fourth commandment, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Everybody's ears start feeling because the majority of people are Edomites in here. The majority of people are Catholics, so they know that commandment. I think, did the Catholic take that out? Did they scratch that or something? They took out the idolatry and separated the temple. But, okay, so the Sabbath is still in there? Right. They, they um, changed it to um, keep the Sabbath holy. It's not keep the Sabbath day holy. The Sabbath holy, right. But a lot of people don't understand. So when, when I'm making this um, proclamation, when I'm make, taking this stance, they're all looking like, wow. But again, this is my confidence in the, in the midst of a bunch of unbelievers. I don't work Saturday. Don't go, I'll work every Saturday. It don't matter to me. They, they paying that money. I'm working every Saturday. Uh, it's not even open for debate. I'm not even trying to prove you wrong. And I'm just taking my stance, uh, taking my stance in the fear of the Lord in the midst of all these people. The GC was uh, uh, on the on the hoist and everything. General contractor. They were I don't work Saturdays. It don't matter. I won't be here. So again, I would delight when I plead and I command. Let's go ahead. I will delight myself in thy statutes. Uh -huh. I will not forget thy word. I ain't gonna forget that word. No matter how much money you dangle in front of me, I'm not gonna forget this word because there's something bigger than money. Salvation. It was offering how much money for people to take a jab? Contest, million dollar contest. Right? <laughs> it don't matter. I'm not folding. Read it. Deal bountifully with thy servant that I may live and keep thy word. 
Deal bountifully with thy servant that I may live and keep thy word. Give me the things that I need to be suffice for my life. And I'll keep thy commandment so I can and I'll keep thy commandment so I can live. I'm not asking for too much. A lot of people don't understand that. That's all, that's all. You know I want much? I understand perfectly. I'm not trying to get perverted in the earth. But some people don't understand that. They look at you crooked. Mm. That's all? That's as far as you're gonna go? Yeah, because if you go too far, you might find yourself in another place. You go too far, you might find yourself in another place. A lot of people don't understand that. They don't even believe that. They be like, I'll be the same. Yeah. Right. You know, people, people get a little bit of money, a little bit of uh, uh, attention. You see how they change. You see how they change. Right. Just give me what I need. Give me what suffice for my life. And let me pass on through. Unscathed. Right? Read it. Open thou mine eyes, mm -hmm. that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Open up my eyes so I can behold wondrous things out of the law. But you got to be spiritual. If you're not spiritual, you're not going to behold the wondrous things out of the law. You're not going to see, like, what difference does that make? So I don't see the relevance. Man, open up my eyes so I can see. Oh, wow. I see it. Wow. I'm making, I'm making a connection. The scriptures say, he that is spiritual judges all things spiritual. I'm making all the connections. I'm connecting dots. And I'm saying, not me. I'm not going that way. Mm -hmm. Nope. Not me. I said, but people look at you crooked when you take stances like that. Because that's not promoting the earth. That's not promoting the earth. The fear of the Lord is not promoting the earth. The fear of man is promoting. The fear of man is promoting the earth. Right. I fear the Lord. Never mind what man can do to me. He can't take my sin. He can't, he can't take my soul. He can't cast me into out of darkness. He can take my life. But he can't cast me into out of darkness. Only the most high can do that. And that's everlasting. I'm looking for salvation, right? Read it. I am a stranger in the earth. Mm -hmm. I am not thy commandments from me. Why am I a stranger in the earth? Because I keep these commandments. The earth don't keep these commandments. Put it, put it right? Um, um, first John. Let's check it out. I'm coming right back to you, brother. First John, brother. Two. First John three and one. First John three and one. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of the Most High. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew Him not. The world don't know us. We're strangers in the earth. We're, the world don't know us because they don't know Him. So when we make these stances, when we show our confidence in the fear of the Lord, when we make the most high our refuge, we, look, we get looked at strangely. We become the outcasts because we're not running with the group, with the crowd. It don't matter. I will always be that brother that stands out. Always. It don't matter because I have a bigger objective. I have bigger goals other than what's in the earth. I have bigger goals. And it's, please, you can miss me with all that, what's in the earth, right? Everything in the earth about to be burnt up, destroyed. Everything. So my heart is not fixed on the earth. Just give me what I need that's convenient for me to live and pass through. Read it. Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. Mm -hmm. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. When he appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. For we shall see, for we shall see him as he is. Righteous. Why the earth is corrupt. Righteous is going to show up and not going to understand. And, and, and the, the corruption is not going to understand the righteous as it does in today. They don't understand why I take the stances I take. Because of righteousness. But they don't understand that because evil is so prevalent in the world. And they're trying to discredit the counsel of the poor, saying it's not going to happen. But yet it's happening. And they can't even see it. So I behold marvelous things out of the Most High's law and commandment. Because I see it. My spiritual eye is awakened. I'm not sleeping. I'm paying attention as I'm supposed to. As a righteous man. As a man over the household. As a man that walketh in the fear of the Most High. As a man that walketh in his integrity. I'm supposed to pay attention, right? Supposed to pay attention. <laughs> Read the Psalm 1715. Uh, Psalms 17 and 15 As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness uh -huh. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness When I awake with thy likeness So it don't matter what goes on with this flesh If I should pass through um, while, they're still, while the earth is still going on I held myself I walked in my integrity I made the most high my refuge And when I awake 
I shall behold you in most high's face. And he says, I shall, as for me, I will behold thy face and righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. I'm going to be a companion of Christ. I'm going to be just like Christ. Satisfied already. Yes, Lord, yeah, satisfied already. But that's the ultimate. That's when, when that play out, when that play out, I'm going to be overjoyed. I'm going to be overjoyed. So I hold out. I hold out for the Lord, man. Praise the Lord. Give me, um, go back to your own Psalms, right? Come up over here to your own Psalms. 119 and 19. I am a stranger in the earth. Hide not thy commandments from me. Don't hide that commandment from me. I, I, I seek thy commandments. I, I want to know. I want to know how to move about. I want to know how to move to the earth without being corrupted. I want to know. I want to be able to look back to my sons and my daughters and tell them, this, this is what you got to do. This is how you got to move. You got to make this move. You got to make this. I know it's going to hurt. It hurts. I went through something yesterday with my son, one of my elder sons. And he's, he's like, why, why, why? Yeah, it, it is what it is. This is the earth, bro. And then as long as you're on that side, this is how it's going to play out. It is what it is. You got you to gotta take it. You got you to gotta take some licks, man. In order to come out unscathed, to come out clean, you got to take some licks. This you know, pray that they ain't unto death. But you got to take some licks. Mm -hmm. My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times. My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath to thy judgments of all times. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward for the Lord to play out, play for me. Because he said the wicked is going to be destroyed. The wicked is going to be cut down like the, like the grass, the green grass, and wither away. I'm looking for that. Because right now the wicked is running the earth and they got everybody jacked up. They 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 they, they, they saying the council of, uh, uh, of the most high is not gonna play out. So a lot of cats, a lot of sisters, brothers and sisters jump ship. They become Egyptologists, they 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 become atheists, they don't believe no more. Because they let the council of the wicked overthrow them because they wasn't sincere within themselves. I don't get up personally with some of my family. They don't let the council of the wicked <laughs> take over. It's crazy. Uh, my soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times. Uh -huh. Thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed, which are which do err in like commandments. Thou hast rebuked the, the proud that are cursed, that has which do err from thy commandments. Which do err from thy commandments. They they're not looking to the Most High. They're not making the Most High their refuge. They're trusting the man. So he had rebuked them, man. They jacked up. They had in derision right now. They're going this way, that way. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Listen, this is a sad state in the earth right now. It's a very troublesome time, man. But, but the, the Lord is going to be the guide to them that keep His commandments and His precepts. Those that make the Most High refuge, they, their refuge, they got, oh, they're going to, they got light in this dark time. They're going to have light. But if you don't make the Most High your refuge, you look into the earth, you jacked up. Right? You jacked up, man. Finish this. Remove from me reproach and contempt, uh -huh. for I've kept thy testimonies. For i kept thy testimonies. For i kept thy testimonies. I ain't moved, Lord. I stayed right here no matter what. I stayed right here no matter who came against me, who said what, who said. I stayed right there. I didn't move, man. Go to go to the Second Corinthians, fourth chapter. You mean we're going to pick it up from the seventh verse, right? Finish this. I'll call it something in the second of the 14, 14, 14, 14, 14. <clears throat> Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 21. Mm -hmm. For thy law is burnt. Therefore no man knoweth the things that are done of thee. Now again, this this is this is important. What Ezra did here and what he, what he's talking about is important for this time. And a lot of brothers and sisters, as, as the scripture says, they let the counsel of the Lord be Shame. They let the counsel of the Lord be shame. But it's the counsel of the Lord that we need in this dark time. Right? Read it. For thy law is burnt. Or cast away. Therefore no man knoweth the things that are done of thee. Because we've been without a, a, a real teaching priest or, 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 or a priest or a prophet for a long time. Or we got religious leaders. Go ahead. Or 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 the works that that um shall begin. Or the works that shall begin. Go ahead. But, but, but if I have found grace before thee, 
send the Holy Spirit into me, uh -huh. and I shall write all that have been done in the world since the beginning, which were written in thy law, Come on. that men may find thy path, and and that they which Yeah, this earthly tabernacle is where the Most High dwells, the Spirit of the Most High dwells. You can't, you can't abuse it. You can't defile it. You can't jack it up. You gotta take care of it. Primarily through the commandments and the precepts of the Most High, right? Read it. Go. Oh, I see. We are troubled on every side, you yet not distressed. We are troubled on every side, but yet not distressed. Not distressed. We're troubled on every side. It's, it's trouble all around us. But we're not jacked up like anybody else. As the scripture says, those that consent unto them shall be had in derision. They're jacked up. They don't know what to do. How you get jabbed up, have a bad effect, visually effect. I mean, legs turn. They swelled up, turn black, and, 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 and you got all type of, and then you're going to say, but I will still give to my children. What, per, what type of person is that? You know what caused this to happen to you. But you have no confidence, you have no faith in the Most High. You all your faith is in man. He done jacked you up and you're going to say, yeah, but I'll still give it to my children. <laughs> yeah, that just shows you got faith in man. You have nothing to the Most High. Therefore, man is going to be your downfall. Man is going to be your downfall. The Most High is not going to be your protection in this time. You trust in the man, right? We it. We are troubled on every side, we are not distressed, uh -huh. we are perplexed, but not in despair. Come on. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Persecuted, but not forsaken. We, we, we understand our position in the earth. We understand perfectly on this side why we're in this situation. We don't have the angry Negro syndrome. We got rid of that. We are, we are what it says here, persecuted, but not forsaken. Not forsaken, the most high, not forsaken. In fact, he sent his blood in the earth to die for us. So we can have a way back to cover us in his blood so we can have a way back. We're not forsaken. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Go ahead. Cast down, but not destroyed. Cast down, but not destroyed. The most high still, he's still playing for us. Even when we didn't even know he was still playing for us. And now that we do know it, as a brother went through in his lesson, now stay in it. Don't turn from it. Now you start getting weak and bored and things ain't playing out for you according to the earth. Now you want to fall back and go the other direction. That's weakness. He that in the day, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy faith is small. Thy strength is small. Thy strength is small. There's going to be tribulations. There's going to be problems on the earth for the righteous too, man. But the righteous got to hold on. Christ said, he that endures unto the end, the same shall be saved. Even the wicked have prescribed the wickedness that they're going to do to the righteous. So it's there. Don't be so blown away that when it comes. Expect it to come. Be joyful when it comes. Give praise when it comes. Because when it comes, we know that the Most High is right behind it. We know that the Most High is right behind it, right? What do you got? Um, Romans 5. Right? 2 Corinthians 4 and 10. Always bearing about in the body. Verse 9. Persecuted but not forsaken. Cast down but not destroyed. Uh -huh. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Christ, that the life of Christ might be made manifest in our body. That the life of Christ may be made manifest in our bodies. Right. So I'm not in the earth 
jacked up in my head, worrying. I'm in the earth and I'm looking at the word of the Most High play out and getting stronger and stronger as the days approach. Getting stronger and stronger as days approach, man. That's what it's about, right? Give me that. Romans chapter 5 and verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith. Uh -huh, being justified by faith because that's all I'm exercising in the earth. It's faith. Faith in everything. Everything I do is, is, is in faith. Everything I do is in faith. I don't know what's going to come behind. I'm just going to make the move. Because Lord said, this is the way to go. I'm going to make the move. I'm going that way. I don't know. Other people went that way. They didn't play out for them. Why? Why they didn't play out for them? Because they didn't believe. They didn't have the most high as their refuge. The most high was not covering them. They had some other alternative motive. I'm going this way because the Lord said, go that way. Right? Therefore, being justified by faith, uh -huh. we have peace with the Most High through our Lord, Yahweh Shai Christ. We have peace with the Most High through our Lord, Yahweh Shai Christ. We have peace with the Most High through our Lord, Yahweh Shai Christ, being justified by faith. Faith is the substance of hope for evidence of things not seen. I'm justified by faith. Justified by faith. I take stances by faith. I don't know what's going to come behind it, but I'm looking for the Lord to play for me. So I say what I got to say, I do what I got to do, and however it play out, it play out. If I should lose something, it's the will of the Most High. It's lost. It's done. Keep moving. Lot lost his whole, he lost his wife. I guess it's pretty much his daughters lost their mind too, thinking that they were going to be <laughs> But Lot had to flee. He had to flee, and he lost his wife. His wife was, got stuck back there because her heart was into the world. Her heart was into the world. And this is not about a wife. This is not. A, this is about focusing. When, the, when, the, when, the, when it seems like there's trouble and there's tribulations, don't sway. Just go through it. Right? Because there's reward. Right, Peter? By whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High. Come on. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation with patience mm -hmm. and patience experience. And and experience hope. Praise the Lord. Now, <coughs> I was reading the story to my own to my son this morning, and, and but I guess something jumped out at me and, and, and within the story. So I guess it, it kind of fits here because it says, "Not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation grows with patience, and patience experience, and experience hope." I was reading um and um. First Samuel 17, 17, 37. Let me see that. It was about David. It was about David. I got it right here. It was about David. I'm trying to remember the story. David, when he um went to fight Goliath. Now, sometimes, without us knowing it, and it's throughout the scripture, the Lord had to be prepared for some things. I mean, like I say it all the time, every woman is not built the same, every man is not built the same, but the Lord used certain people for certain situations. And in this situation, he used David, a youth, to take down a giant. Now, what I'm focusing on is the experience that David relied on to have the confidence to know that he could take Goliath. And what experience? He was a youth. How much experience could he have had already? Right? Well, check this out, right? 17. Youth and 33. First Samuel 17 and 33. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine uh -huh. to fight with him. Right. But thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. You are a youth, and he's a man of war from his youth. You're not able to fight this man. But Saul didn't understand how the Lord was already preparing David for this moment right here. Same with a lot of brothers and sisters. The Lord already prepared you. You just got that confidence in you to know that, yeah, the Lord is with me. Why should, I, why, why, should I, why should I fret? Why should I be afraid? The Lord is with me. He already built me up for these things. You have to acknowledge it within yourself. But if you don't acknowledge it within yourself, you'll fold. You'll faint. You'll be weak, right? What did David say? And David said unto Saul, thy servant kept his father's sheep. Uh -huh. And there came a lion and a bear, and it took, out a, so it took a lamb out of the flock. Come on. And I went out after him and smote him and delivered it, it out of his mouth. Come on. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. But Saul didn't know David had that experience. But David knew within himself, I already have these experiences. That's going to make, I'm hopeful now. I'm hopeful. I know that 
The Lord is with me. The Lord is with me. I can take Goliath. I had that same experience. Not wrestling, but we're not doing it. <laughs> <the next time. laughs> but, but experiences are ready that I've been, like I said all the time, I've been saying no to a lot of things. So when the big thing comes, I can have strength and confidence to say no. The Lord been preparing me. The Lord been preparing me. So I've been building up strength for these troublesome times. So when the troublesome times come and I'm at the head, I can't waver. I can't fake. Because what happened to those that behind me? So David took a stand and said, yo, I can take this. I can do this. So I said, all right, load them up. Load them up. Give him a sword. Give him a shield. Give him, give him everything he needs. Let him go. But it was the confidence. Yeah, I can't use these things. Man, they ain't even been proven yet. They ain't even been proven yet. But I'm speaking to the experience and the hope and the times of tribulations. This is a time of trouble. And if you ain't been dealing with things and faith and in confidence, if you ain't made the most out of your refuge, you're going to fold. Because it's not going to get any easier. It's going to get harder. Lose your heart out. Where are you taking refuge at? That's something you can say for yourself. Finish that. Thy servants slew both the lion and the bear, uh -huh. and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them. And this uncircumcised Philistine going to be just like one of them because David has confidence through his experiences. He knows the Lord that delivered him from the lion and the bear, and he's going to deliver me from this giant too, this uncircumcised heathen. That's big, man. I took that off. That was my walk, my takeaway as I was reading the story to my son this morning. Wow. The Lord prepare you for things like he did with Joshua, like he did with Noah. He's been doing this for years with brothers and sisters. So now it's our time. We're in this time. Have you been building up strength? Because it's a dark time coming. There's no other way out. I, I did ask you to give Jeremiah 30, right? 30 verse 7? Okay. Read it for me. Okay. You, you get it. You, because you got that clear for me, right? Verse 36, that servants slew both the lion and the bear, mm -hmm. and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he hath defied the armies of the living power. Seeing that he has defied the armies of the living power. So all these wicked people, all these they workers of iniquity, they're going to be like that bear, that lion, and this uncircumcised Philistine. They're going to be trodden down. They're going to be trodden down. So I'm not worried about them. So is tribulations coming? Yes, they're supposed to come. Acts 14, 22. Jeremiah 30 and verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Uh -huh. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm putting my confidence at. That the most High is going to do what he said he's going to do. All I got to do is play my part. Stand strong. Stand strong. It don't matter. Nothing matters. Whatever's going on is going on. Whatever's going on is going on. I, I'm just to stay straight, stay focused, looking straight ahead. I'm going to say 10,000 on four to this side, 10,000 on four to this side, but it's not going to come nigh me. I believe that. I believe that. That's confidence. I'm not in the earth shaking. My head is not all jacked up. I'm blown away by the stupidity and the, <laughs> <coughs> the simplicity of some things, but I'm not shaking. But I'm, but I'm, I'm blown away. The other day I was watching TV. I'm going to close out with this right here, right? The other day I was watching the, um, the news, and it was talking about how all in Europe, they all come to the conclusion that uh, uh, boosters don't work. Uh, it's not going to get us out of it. Uh, uh, jabbing's not going to get us out of it. Uh, um, in fact, too many jabs and boosts can, can damage your immune system. They're saying this on the news, and I'm blown away because right after that, no, um, by, uh, um, Brandon, <laughs> let's go Brandon, <laughs> comes up and say, yeah, the only way out of this is um, we need more jabs, we need more jabs. Oh, hold up, they just gave you the world report. Those that are ahead of us in this situation, they say, yeah, it's not working. It's not, we're not going to get out of it through that. But yeah, he come up and say, yeah, we need to do more. So I'm blown away with that, but I'm not shaking. I'm not shaking. I'm trusting in the Heavenly Father. We just... Acts 14.22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Continue in the faith. Continue to make the most high your refuge. Continue to walk in the precepts and commandments of the Heavenly Father, right? 
and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. And through much tribulation, Romans 5 and 1. Through much tribulations, we must enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Come on. Romans 5 and 1. <clears throat> and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, mm -hmm. knowing that tribulation worketh patience, Come on. and patience experience, uh -huh. and experience hope. Right. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of the Most High is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. Praise the Lord. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I'm going to stand in it with that. Brother, you're not in Christ.